I don't get it when the announcement have to be Oh, we have our female DJ Tink People can tell I'm female, I don't look like a guy Okay? Hi, I'm DJ Tink and I'm a DJ, musician and producer I've been a musician since I was 6 years old and on the way I stumbled upon a role called DJing and I've been doing it for the past 7 years I didn't have the money to buy a console, it's very expensive and I was still in school so what I did was I pretended I'm going to buy a console and I went in and like hey I'm interested can you let me test it out for a while so I actually practiced on it for like 10-15 minutes I got the gist of it and then I went home I googled the image I printed it out and I practiced in my head what is happening you know a good DJ reads the crowd we are entertainers after all every DJ need to have about a few thousand songs. Why? Because you will never know what to expect. If you are skillful enough, you'll be able to adapt straight away by watching the crowd and how they respond to the music. A DJ who is not skillful enough, even if they read the crowd, they won't have the skills to be able to change up their set in their mind on the spot. You can pass 10 DJs the same exact 50 songs to play to the same exact crowd and you'll have 10 different results. DJs, we don't play our own music. We are after all taking someone else's music and playing it to the crowd. And that's the reason why people always say, oh, you can just plug in an iPod, I can just go to Spotify, play a playlist. Well, if the iPod can read the crowd, you, you let me know. I will want to buy the iPod as well. Everyone listens to music on a daily basis, so everyone has an objective about it. Uh, they, they have an opinion, they, they criticize it, you know, so it's something that you cannot blame them for. Back then when I started, there wasn't many female DJs at all and I realized that I'm probably the only girl in the competition and every time it's my turn to spin, um, all the veterans, they will actually bother to stand behind me and watch. I kind of strive on it like oh you want to watch me okay let me teach you something new so i do have guy djs who come up to me and you know uh, praise me oh you know even i don't know how to do that sometimes i don't like it because like what, what do you mean by even i don't know how to do that like so it's amazing that i know and you don't know like what if other guy dj know like, will you say that because i believe that everyone should be equal like we are all humans you know like if we are capable of doing something credit us for being able to do that, not based on our gender. Ever since I was young, I've always wanted to start a music studio, you know, and I did it. And the next step was to have a music label, and I did it as well, and also a music academy, and I did it as well. In the future, of course, to have more of my DJs and my artists writing more originals for the label to grow. So that's when the label comes in as well. One thing about this industry that I learned is that don't take anyone's words too seriously because you realize that they're mostly drunkards, you know. But overall, as long as you just stay passionate about your music, make sure that you are really doing it for the right reasons, you have to keep going because if it's so easy to become successful, then everyone will be a millionaire, you know. Some, some of them are luckier. But if you're not that lucky, then you have to just put in the hard work to match up to your luck. If you like something, you will not give up on it, you know what I mean? I mean, there are times where I wanted to give up, but I realised that if I give up, then there's nothing else I'm not living anymore, you know? There's nothing else worth it anymore, so uh, I just continue doing it.